hey guys welcome again so let's learn uh the second method uh of family planning that is under the hormonal methods of family planning number one we have talked about depot three month injection so now i want us to learn um about the implants the implants so we have a jadel and we also have an implant on so a jadel um it has a uh, two small rods two small rods that are inserted under your skin under your skin in the inside of your arm okay well uh, an implant has one rod a jadel has two and they are both inserted uh, under your skin in the inside of your arm here at this point so they slow they slowly release progesterone okay um implants and also depot they all they, they, they all have one hormone the difference is that implants are long lasting Ajadel uh, lasts for five up to five years, and implant on uh, up to three years. So, uh, but if you decide that you want a baby in between those years, you can go back to the hospital so that yeah, it can be removed. So, um, its mode of action is it is uh, just like uh, the three month injection. So. They stop uh, your body from releasing an egg each month. Okay, the ovary does not pro, pro it does not release the egg. So that means that means they in, inhibit ovulation, and if there's no ovulation, that means there's no fertilization that will take place. We also have they thicken the cervical mucus. Okay, so once it's thick, the sperm cannot pass to the to the uterus so no fertilization will take place implants are 99 percent effective well so you can see um if you are that person who forgets uh, taking your pills if you forget forget like after three months that you will get an injection this is the right method for you it will take three years or five years so it's upon you to choose which one uh, do you want so what are the advantages it's long acting it's long active you don't uh, you don't keep um, going back to the hospital every month another advantage it is reversible immediately you remove your jadel or your implant you will return back to fertility almost immediately it is 99 percent effective it is safe for breastfeeding women okay what are the disadvantages mm, irregular periods okay you might not have periods at all at all like your periods will just disappear you might have light bleeding occasionally okay you will not have all of this you will have one of all these ones that i will list number one your periods might disappear completely number two you might have light bleeding occasionally okay that means you will be bleeding a uh, light a uh, light, light menses uh, yes that might come after maybe three months five months number three you might have light bleeding often okay you might be having um, you might be having a uh, light bleeding that is maybe after every two weeks you you bleed you might have light no heavy bleeding occasionally uh heavy bleeding occasionally 
mm, you might be having your menses that are very heavy uh, which come maybe after five five months or after three months or after two months depending on your body or you might have heavy menses um often heavy menses often if you are the one that has heavy menses often maybe you bleed heavily like let's say after every two weeks huh? that one you need to go back uh, because you might you might end up uh, getting anemia because of loss of um, blood okay so uh, you will have you will get one of these this so it might not be harmful okay but it's annoying uh, so that um, Uh, you don't if you bleed heavily or oftenly just go back so that your doctor will advise you maybe you might need to change uh, the method but uh, if you just have these light bleedings uh, you will be given a pill or pills that will help regulate the bleeding okay number two it doesn't protect you from getting sexually transmitted diseases those are the disadvantages so before getting uh, before this uh, rods are inserted to your skin make sure you do a pregnancy test because another thing before you start using any method of family planning just make sure you are not pregnant because if you start using family planning and you're pregnant those hormones are going to affect your baby and you might get you might end up getting a baby who is um abnormal okay or challenged so please do a pregnancy test before you start using any method of family planning so uh, another thing uh please uh just uh, let this uh, jadel or implanon be inserted um, between your day one to day five of your menstruation. So that means once you start menstruating between day one, the first day and the fifth day, those are the best days for these implants to be inserted to your, to your skin. If it's not inserted between that time when you're having your menses, make sure uh, the day it's inserted, you use another method of family planning for the next seven days. Okay, are we together? Let it be inserted when you're having your menses between the first day and the fifth day. It will start working immediately. But if it's not inserted between that time, make sure you use another method for seven days okay to prevent getting pregnant that means um if it's inserted you you might decide to use a condom okay for the next seven days before the body adjusts yeah, itself so that uh, you do not get pregnant okay i hope you you have captured that point very well let it be inserted when you're having your periods between the first day and the fifth day. Okay? Apokati kati. First day, ama fifth day. If no, if that is not the case, make sure you use another method of family planning. Use condoms for seven days before the body adjusts itself and the method starts working. Okay? So that is it. So simple, long-lasting method, uh, but it does not protect you from sexually transmitted diseases. So it is reversible. Once you remove it, you will get pregnant almost uh, immediately. So, and it is 99% effective. So if you experience heavy bleeding, 
go back talk to your doctor uh, so that he, he will see if he will need to change the method if you have light bleeding uh, that is often you will be given pills that will regulate the hormones so that you don't experience that spotting so yeah that is it so simple yeah yeah so in the next session i will talk about the oral um contraceptives so guys stay tuned please continue subscribing continue liking um let's grow these channels uh, thank you so much for those who have subscribed uh so please share share so that um people can get to to learn thank you